Okay, I want to just use this opportunity to explain the diffusion modeling and profile development spreadsheet because it's a little strange since I had to build it inside of Excel. So the, the main parts are the interface. So this tab is the part where you interact with it. And remember, you're only supposed to change the black, the sort of bolded um, elements. And so because the key issue is we sort of have a limited number of, of steps here. So we have a limited number of spatial steps, which are these here. There's 28 steps in, in distance. So then the distance between them would be the, the delta x. So you can see here we, uh, we start off you know, with 0 and then go to 27, but that's because the dx is is one so we can change this to two and it gets twice as long so uh, we're sort of working within this framework and then the time steps are, are, are on this side is the model calculation space so here we sort of have distance in going down and then time going to the right and so the the time step is, is what's between these two and just to get it right uh, is minus one here time step so that it's zero and then the first time step second time step so forth so so the key thing then is that um, we have to go you know in certain time by a certain number of temporal steps to the end here so in this case it's kind of arbitrary I just made I just pulled it to the right so it's 192 uh, time steps and so uh, and then the final thing is that the, the lambda is kind of like a basically stability criterion. And we know from this kind of numerical method that if it gets above 0 0.5, things will blow up. So what that means is that if I make the time step here um, too large, okay, I'm still okay there. But if I go to, let's say, 1, something crazy, I'm just right at, well, I'm, it's not doing great, 0.25. Uh, so it's still stable, but we're kind of just the whole, the thing is so old right now, there's not much change. But if I tried to push it harder to 2, for example, now I'm right at 0.5, so you see it's getting a little bumpy. And then 3, boom, blew up, 10 to the 56. So it's like as big as the solar system or something. So that's just uh, something to keep in mind. But, but because of the limited number of spatial and temporal nodes, we're sort of working kind of, we're constrained. So, uh, but nevertheless, um, it seems like hopefully it can work. And the other key issue is what we call the morphologic age. So that's the, with simple diffusion like this, the, the true control on the form is the the k times the final time so if i let's take this to um, 0 0.1 so sort of a nice shape there and maybe make it a little smaller so according to this this is uh 191 000. let's do one okay there we go There. So this is 19,000, and k of a 1 meter squared per thousand years is pretty typical one we know for like the basin and range fault scarps. So uh, if we, if I just change it so that instead of, um, well, basically the, the real morphologic age is going to be k times this t. So in this case, it's 19.1. So I could do it in any other way where I, I had that the product of these two was 19.1, there'd be no way to tell these forms apart. So uh, that's key. So, but I've separated them because usually we, we think we know K and so we're looking for T, but you could do it the other way around uh, as well. So just as a, to help, you know, this I wrote at a time, so it's a very small file and it gets a lot done. Um, but you can also, I made a bigger one this summer for a student project. So here 
it's expanded. And so if you go down, you can see I have uh, how many. Yeah, so in this case, there's uh, about 250 spatial steps. So it's quite a bit uh, denser. And then the time steps I made much more massive. If you look at this, it's kind of crazy because there's so many. Um, and I think if we go out to the end here, what did I end up doing? Yeah, a thousand. So this is a much bigger uh, calculation space and it runs a fair bit slower, so you have to be careful. Uh, but, um, Anyway, that, uh, that may uh, be helpful. One other thing I wanted to show, just as another thing that's useful, is so this would be what we call an initial uh, SCART model, where the, the thing was, this is more like, let's say, a fluvial terrace riser 10 meters high. But if you were to um, you know, make it flat, so there's nothing, but instead of, of having it form it, at once at the beginning you can add a very small um, step each time step in this case uh, uh, and again you have to kind of back calculate what it's going to be but let's just take this half of the scarp and each time step we add 0 0.1 0 0.01 uh, meters of let's say uplift in this case per time step then we build the final form over you know the thousand time steps and and we get what i call more of a continuous slip uh, scarp so this makes sense if you're thinking about you know you're not going to have an earthquake that produces 10 meter high scarp so you might have several you could have 10 earthquakes that produce you know one meter at a time of vertical offset in this case and the fault scarp won't really remember how many earthquakes it took to form uh, so you could use this as a model. So we sort of have these two end members of, of continuous slip or initial SCARP. And this spreadsheet allows you to do both. And you can do all kinds of things. Then you could switch this around in a logical sense. Let's say this is 10. Let's make this 0 again. Um, you know, fun things to play with. So let's get that to 0. And we, you can see it's a little bit slow, actually. So we know um, this big model has to do a lot of calculations. So let's build something interesting. Let's go down here. Maybe uh, let's make like a crater. So another 10. And so this model can handle that. We made a little crater. So that would be fun to play with, right? Like if you had it impact crater or something what would happen but the other thing you can do is say well what if it was in the ocean and there was a background uh, kind of a sedimentation so we add the sedimentation basically to each time step and if I just fill this through you you sort of you're diffusing but at the same time we're adding and the two of them, uh, you know, that gives you a lot of functionality in this spreadsheet. So hopefully that was helpful and uh, good luck.